It is time for a tip of the hat and a huge thank you to a man who has made a big difference in Oregon. Jay Nicholas was once Oregon's salmon czar and led the efforts to save wild coastal salmon 20 years ago. In fact, in this story, we see that Jay Nicholas knows the habits of salmon so well, many call him Oregon's fish whisperer. Oregon's rivers are filled with more than water as they flow to the sea. Big and little fish live here too. So do folks and waders who breathe the rhythms of the river and cast hand-tight imitations of nature's creations to catch them. People ask me, what's the most effective pattern? Best fly is the one I caught my last fish on. Jay Nicholas ties flies that drive fish wild. The second best fly is the previous fly I caught a fish on. He's known as one of Oregon's best. And then the third best fly is the one I haven't tied yet. He began his craft 50 years ago. You feel these materials, you imagine how they're going to refract light in the water, how the fly is gonna drop and rise as you retrieve it. Do the fish care? Puzzling question from the man once considered Oregon salmon czar and work with farmers and loggers and fishermen and pro-hatchery, anti-hatchery people. Back in 95, Nicholas was lead scientist and author of a landmark conservation plan to save wild coastal salmon from extinction. It was called the Oregon Plan. The vision of the Oregon Plan was that all the state agencies would authentically incorporate the health of salmon into their missions. To help people understand the new plan, he decided to write a book. So I went to Bymart and I got a Crayola watercolor set and just started painting. The wonderful colorful story called Down to the Sea explains simply what baby salmon face when they travel from rivers to the ocean. A salmon has to have a healthy ecosystem from the mountains to the ocean and then way out to the feeding grounds. And if that chain is interrupted anywhere, the salmon suffer. The book caught the attention of teachers and their students, plus legislators across the state. His hand-drawn images also stirred something new in Nicholas. I'm untrained. I don't do very good with people's hands. I can't, <laughs> I can't do people's faces very well. I do better with fish What's and with flies. He'd never tried drawing or painting before, and he was a natural. I try to visualize the fish's grace, its form, and if it is pleasing to my eye, then it's good enough. Two years ago, Jay decided he was good enough and ready for change. He turned his passion for science to fly tying and book writing and art. He knows the habits of salmon so well, some call the famed scientist Oregon's fish whisperer. My favorite subjects are salmon and flies. I've been drawing albacore as my fishing interests have expanded. They're absolutely remarkable creatures as are the sea bass. And if, if you look closely in the mouth of a lingcod, oh my gosh, talk about a toothy critter. He has written 10 books on the nitty gritty tactics and techniques to catch fish, all published in the past year. He's on a self-described mad dash to write and publish even more books about fish. When you find yourself awake at 3.30 in the morning and, um, you can't sleep, and you can't fish all the time, I'm a driven man. That, plus the fact he has survived two heart attacks and now has five stents in his chest. Cardiologist says, Jay, you're fine, and you're going to be fine until you're not. I don't worry about it. I just get on with it. And he does. One of his favorite books is called Home Waters, a short 20-minute read. We talk of flies, fly lines, and our hooks. Sometimes, though... We share more intimate thoughts. It is poetry and homage to Oregon salmon and steelhead anglers. The passing of friends, the certainty of our own death, obsession and depression, rage, passion, courage, God, women. Probably there is too little such talk among men. In a search for the humanity in angling, Oregon's fish whisperer has discovered much more. 
It really isn't the catch that matters the most, but what we might catch when we go to Oregon's waters. We're a bunch of fishermen. We usually just talk guy talk, but 2% of the time, and not with everybody, you get to share the really important stuff in life. I think that's what it's about.